the latch. But what was really important is that this mother ran into problems um, because the baby wasn't latching on properly. So the baby then, the mother then got engorged and the baby wouldn't take the breast at all. And unfortunately, the response in hospital to the mother's difficulties was, well, we'll just give the baby a bottle of formula. Well, that was the wrong approach. There, nice mouthful. You can even hear her sometimes, but you don't have to hear. There, good mouthful. There, a good mouthful. So then the mother's always asked, well, how do I know I finished the first side? Well, of course, when the baby's not drinking anymore, then the baby is not getting any more milk. There's no reason to uh, continue on that side. Sometimes we just say, just let the baby pull off. But sometimes we say, you know, once the baby doesn't drink anymore, then we ask the mother to do what I call compression, which means squeezing the breast so that the baby keeps getting milk. Because babies like flow. If they don't get flow, then they tend to fall asleep at the breast. So when the flow of milk is slow, then they sort of just sort of drift off. You see how she got milk? She opened up her eyes again. There. So there she's falling asleep. But you'll see that she'll start. Don't, don't, don't wake her up. There, that, that's. There, she gets some milk, and she may, there she opens up her eyes again. So often mothers are told that, you know, to keep the baby awake by, you know, blowing on them or tickling them or putting cold claws on them, but they'll stay awake if they get milk. They are mouthful. So she's showing some pausing and some drinking. There. There. Okay. Let me just come here. Now, when the baby doesn't drink on her own anymore, we get the same smell. Get your hand around the baby's face, around your breast, and then squeeze as the baby sucks. Release when it doesn't work anymore. Wait for the baby to start sucking. If she doesn't drink, squeeze. And that compression helps the baby get milk. And when it doesn't work, let go. And this is a good technique to use, especially in the first few days, because then that really gets the colostrum moving and the baby drinking colostrum so that we don't have to say to the mother, oh, you know, the baby needs a supplement, when in fact they don't.